Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. In 2022, Epson began shipping their third generation compact mini lab photo printer, the SureLab D1070. For over a year, this mini lab has been producing excellent photo prints up to eight inches wide at impressive production speeds, all while fitting on your desktop. Epson has made us wait over a year for the most exciting feature of the new D1070 to finally become available. Today, we're gonna show you the Epson D1070 now with automatic double-sided printing. The Epson SureLab line has historically only printed on roll medias, trimming finished 4x6, 5x7, 8x10, etc. prints out of a roll of paper. This is a great way to crank out hundreds of photo prints an hour at the photo quality everyone expects from an Epson. The D1070 is the first mini lab to offer a cassette for loading and printing cut sheets of paper. But wait, there's more. Not only will the D1070 print on cut sheets, it will automatically reverse those sheets and print on the second side of the paper. This allows you to seamlessly print double-sided photos and stationery without any user intervention, something that was never offered on an Epson commercial printer. This opens the door to a host of new product applications, photo books, postcards, invitations, calendars, holiday cards, and stationery. So how does it work? Well, first you'll need to buy the SureLab D1070 duplex feeder cassette. You can either buy this as part of a D1070 DE duplex edition that includes the D1070 printer and the duplex feeder, or you can buy the duplex feeder cassette on its own to be added to the printer after the purchase of a standard edition D1070. Right now, the duplex feeder costs $563 as, as an accessory to be added to your printer. Epson has put out a great video showing how to assemble the D1070 stacker unit. It involves setting the D1070 printer on top of the duplex feeder cassette, securing it with a few screws, and attaching the cut sheet paper feed path and the rollers to the back of the printer. The whole process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll link you to Epson's video below for a step-by-step -step assembly guide. The duplex feeder is able to accommodate stacks of up to 100 sheets of photo paper. The spec for the thickness of the paper is just under 10 and a half mil, meaning it will support typical photo and matte papers, but may not work on thicker fine art or Baraita type papers. The max sheet size that you can load into this cassette is A4, which is 8.3 inches by 11 inches, 11.7 inches. The minimum size for the sheet feeder is four inches by six inches. The way that the feeder works is pretty cool. The feed unit passes paper sheets up the back of the printer and up to the print zone. The first side of the photo is printed and fed out the front of the printer. If you've sent a double-sided print job, the sheet is sucked back into the printer, pushed back down the feed unit, flipped through a series of rollers, and the second side is printed and fed out the front. For a 4 by 6 inch print, this process took us 1 minute and 15 seconds from clicking print to a finished print on the front of the printer. This is using Epson's double-sided Luster 225 gram paper. The print quality is probably hard to see in the video, but I'm really, really impressed with the vibrance and the detail in these little photo prints. Now a few notes before we send you on your way. If you want to print double-sided, you'll need to buy double-sided paper. Epson has double-sided papers in 190 gram gloss and 225 gram luster. Both of these finishes are available in 4x6, 5x7, and 8x10 sizes. Beyond that, we have our own lines of gloss and luster papers, as well as matte papers. One of our favorite challenges is sourcing papers for customers that have a vision for a product. So if you need a different double-sided media or a different size, give us a call and we can help you find one. The other note that I wanted to point out is that you will need to use rollers for the specific type of media that you'll be using. The duplex feeder ships with a pair of input rollers like this one, one for photo paper and one for matte paper. If you're using the gloss or luster paper, you will need to snap in the rollers for the photo paper. If you are using a matte paper, you'll need to use the other rollers marked as card paper. These different rollers provide the right amount of grip to the surface of the paper to ensure that you aren't running into paper jams. These rollers are consumables, so as you print thousands of photos, you will need to replace these with new rollers. They cost $32 each. So there you have it, the new duplex feeder for the Epson SureLab D1070. This accessory unlocks the D1070 to a world of possibilities. Photo books, postcards, invitations, calendars, holiday cards, and stationery. All at exceptional Epson photo quality. If you have an idea and you'd like help testing it, please visit us at itsupplies.com and give us a call. We'll be glad to run samples or better yet, host you in our Chicago Demo Center. 
We have several other D1070 videos looking at the costs and also the speeds. So check those out and subscribe to the channel as we look to make more videos about this little mini lab printer. If you found this video helpful, you can help us out by giving us a like and commenting below. Thanks so much, have a great day.